has been a video that I've been trying to do for a really long time and it just never felt right. The timing wasn't right or I wasn't totally in love with what I was using and I didn't want to talk to you about the kind of routine unless it was really a routine that I was sticking to because being a beauty blogger you tend to use a lot of products and you tend to chop and change and obviously I'm lucky enough to get sent a lot of new releases and things like that which is difficult because it means I'm constantly changing my skincare and constantly trying new things and I find it very hard to just be loyal to one product product so I had to kind of cut down and really focus because my skin was being a little bit temperamental now I'll kind of talk you through my issues in terms of my skin my skin is kind of combination oily it's not um, super oily but it's not really dry either it's kind of just normal skin but I do suffer from pigmentation around my cheeks my nose um, due to a the birth control pill I think so a lot of um, products are kind of targeted at that and I also suffer from dull skin my skin can tend to look very dull and lifeless so I like to use products that really help to inject that kind of life and luminosity back into the skin that's my skin type my kind of philosophy if you will in terms of skincare is I like things to be very gentle I don't believe in kind of using tons and tons of really aggressive products I don't like things that dry out my skin because I feel like that just makes it even more oily and more prone to breakouts I think cleansing is the absolute key and I think that using a serum is really beneficial and sunscreen is a non-negotiable for me I wear sunscreen even in the snow I think it's really 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 important to wear sunscreen so that's kind of my philosophy in terms of skincare in terms of products, I don't think that everything has to cost an arm and a leg. I think there are some great affordable products, but I do think that sometimes um, you need to kind of really look into what you're using and investigate a little bit the ingredients and that type of thing of what you're using. And also, I know that a lot of people are kind of um, in mixed minds with skincare. I think there's kind of a trend at the moment on YouTube and blogs going around that using cleansing balms is key and also a kind of trend in that... Um, like using sunscreen, you can get sunscreen from your um, foundation, that's fine. I don't believe in that. I think using sunscreen is the most important thing and I think that nothing um, ages you like the sun and I don't want my skin to age badly so I really do believe in wearing sunscreen. That being said, obviously, uh, disclaimer, not everything in this video will work for you. This is just my routine and I'm going to talk you through what I use in the morning and what I use in the evening. So and first of all, I'm going to talk you through my morning I was using routine. the Clarisonic in the morning but I stopped doing that a long time ago. I've really cut back on how often I'm using the Clarisonic and I do feel like my skin's kind of better for it. But I use a kind of gentle scrub in the shower in the morning. And this is the Una Brennan Vitamin C Gentle Daily Micro Micro Polish Wash. It's got very small beads in it. Um, it smells beautiful. It smells really kind of lemony and zesty and lovely. And it just really, really did help to brighten my skin. It just kind of applies beautifully. You can massage it in and it just makes your skin feel awake and gives it a nice luminosity. And I think that's the absolute key when it comes to kind of skincare and aging and that kind of thing. Um, let me know if you want me to do a video about kind of anti-aging products and kind of my um, opinions on it and that kind of thing because it's something that I'm very, very interested in. But I really, really like this. I will definitely repurchase this when this is all gone. So I'll do that in the shower on a clean face, obviously. And then for toner in the morning, I'm all about the kind of toning mist. I love that. So I'm using the Balance Me Skin Brightening Hydrating Face Mist. I love the packaging of this. It smells lovely. And I just kind of spritz a couple of spritzes of this on my face and let it sink in while I'm getting dressed or whatever it is that I'm doing. And it really helps to brighten my skin and kind of gives it a drink. I feel it kind of makes it feel like it's um, plumped up again so I really recommend this there are kind of cheaper options of this though like the Enspa one's really nice but I do really like this one and then I go in with a serum and I'm really really into serums they're kind of my go-to product and I really enjoy using them my favorite favorite morning one that again I will definitely repurchase is the L'Oreal skin perfection one this is a very kind of light silky silicone texture and I'll show you what it looks like. It's just this kind of white cream and then you rub it into your skin and your skin just will instantly feel kind of smooth and it almost gives your skin a soft focus. I love this, it's great under makeup. You can see how much I've gotten um, out of this and I will definitely, definitely repurchase this, I love it. Then I go in with an eye cream, and yes, I do use an eye cream, eye cream every day. Also because I think it's important not to neglect that area and also because I think your concealer sits better 
when you wear an eye cream. So I love the Heal Gel Eye. Again, it's a similar texture to the L'Oreal Serum, really. It's got this lovely little pump, and I just pump out a small amount and kind of dot that under my eye area, and it really kind of helps to make the area look a little bit more um, alive, and it also makes a great base for concealer because it's not too greasy. It's kind of got a little bit of stick to it, which is good. Then if I'm going to be um, indoors and I'm not going outside, I won't bother to use sunscreen indoors, but I will use the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturising Mattifying Fluid. You're probably thinking, moisturising, mattifying, how can you be both? This is, it's a fantastic product. It's very moisturising, but it also kind of glides over your skin and leaves a really beautiful finish and makes your pores appear much smaller. Really like this. Again, we would definitely repurchase. And then for sunscreen in the morning, I have been going for the Soap and Glory Make Yourself Youthful Sun Shield Super Fluid SPF 50. I haven't been using this for very long, I will admit, but I do know that I like it. Light texture, absorbs nicely, great base for makeup, and it's got UVA and UVB rays. Let me know if you want me to do a video about... um sunscreen because I've got quite a few at the moment that I'm testing out and that kind of thing and it's something that I feel really really strongly about so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that video. So that's what I do in terms of my morning skincare and now I'm going to talk you through um, what I do in the evening but obviously I then go ahead and apply my makeup and everything like that. Be out work whatever I'm doing and then go ahead and do my evening first things skincare. first in the evening I will go ahead and take my makeup off I use two products for this the first one I'm using is the cosmetics a la carte better off dual phase um, cleanser this is kind of like what I use as an eye makeup remover I don't love this it's not my favorite I haven't really found an eye makeup remover that I love as much as the Garnier dual phase one but I like this and I'm kind of going to stick to using up the ones I've got before I repurchase any more eye makeup removers so I would do use this just take my eye makeup off and two cotton pads first then for the rest of my face I go in with the body shop chamomile cleansing oil this is really nice and I would repurchase this I am I think after I finish this I'll maybe try the L'Oreal version because I've heard really good things about that but really really nice so I'll do a kind of two pumps all over my face massage it into my skin it breaks down all your foundation onto my eyes as well and it doesn't aggravate them and it just takes my makeup off beautifully. If I'm not wearing much makeup and I've just got a little bit of something on then I'll use something like the Garnier Micellar Water but usually when I'm wearing kind of like a full face of makeup oil is the way to go and this one's lovely and I love the fact it comes with a pump. Then I'll go in with my cleanser and the cleanser I've been using for a while now is Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean. This is a new one I've just started using. It's got kind of different types of fruit acids in it and things like that and it just helps to really leave your skin looking bright and lovely and it smells great. So I'll use this and then I put it on kind of all over my skin. Let it sit there for just a couple of minutes because I feel like that helps brighten your skin. And then I'll remove it. Now, I haven't been using the Clarisonic every single day. I stopped doing that because I felt like it was just getting too much my skin. And I feel like my skin's been a lot less um, red since I've since I've been doing this. So this is my Clarisonic. I will use this like one day yes and then one day no. So it really works well for me like that and I don't use it all the time which um, as I said I think wasn't doing my skin that much good. It's a little bit too abrasive. Then instead of a toner in the evening I was using a kind of alcohol toner with brightening agents and that kind of thing but I felt again that was making my skin look a bit red and I've really wanted to simplify things down and make things a bit more gentle. So I've been using the Caudalie Micellar Water. I really like this, um, but I don't know if I'd repurchase this. There are a lot of cheaper versions that I like equally, like the L'Oreal one. I like this equally, so I'll use these kind of instead of a toner, get rid of the last scrap of makeup, and I really like them. So that's kind of what I use afterwards. Then I go in with my nighttime serum, and I'm using the Ren Radiance Perfection Serum. This is an interesting product because it's not my favorite in terms of texture. It's kind of got a little bit of a sticky texture but it does really help to brighten your skin. My skin looks a lot more even since I've been using this and the pigmentation on my skin is not gonna go away until, I don't know, I see a different pill or I've tried so many different things, but I won't bore you with that. It's got a slightly sticky texture and it's not super moisturizing. I couldn't just leave this on on its own. I'd have to top it off with a moisturizer, but it has helped to brighten up my complexion a little bit. Um, and it just really helps to kind of make your skin look healthier again. Then I'll go in with my eye cream, and this is my favourite eye cream. I will definitely, definitely repurchase this. And this is the Soap and Glory Puffy Eye Attack Hydrogel Turbo Boost. 
looks like this and this is just so so good it's really light and gel like but it sinks in it really helps to kind of depuff the area and it's just a beautiful 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 eye cream i absolutely adore this and then last but not least for my kind of night cream I like to use something a little bit lighter during the kind of spring months and this is the Elemis Fresh Skin Day Cream I have got the night cream of this which I used in the winter but I'm using the day cream at night and it's just a nice gentle light moisturiser that can be used kind of whenever and it helps to kind of just keep my skin looking nice and fresh and I always give my skin a massage while I'm applying my moisturiser as well so that's it, that's my skincare routine let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do the video like I said about anti-aging and what was the other one the sunscreen video um let me know if you'd like me to do those and any relevant reviews or anything I've got for any of these products I will link below but my star products are definitely the L'Oreal serum the Una Brennan uh, micro polish cleanser the soap and glory eye cream they're kind of my star star products but I really like everything I'm using and I will insert a picture now of me with no makeup on so you can kind of see what my skin looks like without any makeup and my skin's definitely definitely not perfect but it's the best it can be and the texture of it I think is something that's very important to me so I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see any of those other videos